you know, you're uh, of course um, a huge inspiration uh, to all Indians uh, and the young, the budding chess players, youth of this country. Uh, we're currently in, uh, you know, even as I'm speaking to you, it's a, it's a very um, uh, unique situation for our country. Huge demographic dividend, huge number of youth uh, grappling with what's happening day to day and around us uh, right now. Uh, what is your message for them? I would say one thing. In, in chess, you get outdated very fast. Your thinking methods, uh, and I'm quite conservative in stretches. There are periods in my career when I don't like to change what I'm doing very much. But very often at these moments, my, I'll just shudder to a halt. Um, so I talk about Dortmund in 2001, where out of the blue, uh, I was having good results and I just won the World Championship in 2000. But in this tournament, I lost to I lost an early game against one player I don't like very much, losing to. Then three days later, I lost to a guy who's a bit, uh, who lives in his own world. And uh, the reason that loss was painful is because I lost to him. And instead of being gracious about it, he said, this is an excellent birth, uh, present from you on my birthday. <laughs> and I mean, my expression when I left the room was priceless. I just thought, I'm going to kill this guy one day. but. And luckily, when I won the World Championship many years later, I actually beat him. But anyway. Um, Are you a poor loser? <laughs> I hate losing. Uh, I think everyone has. And, and in fact, I would say I'm, I'm getting worse at it because uh, now I'm really screaming when I get back to the room. But um, people may not know that because I'm also reasonably good at uh, keeping my, having a grip on myself till I get to the room. But um, inside, I hate everything. And nowadays, I can't even hide it very much. Uh, I snap at press conferences. I, uh, I breeze out of the room. And I can only fake civility for a point. But I can't go beyond that. All right. So uh, hopefully, you've not had to fake civility in this interview. And you've enjoyed it. But let me come back to the question I asked you. Because uh, I think it's important that you have a message for those who are watching today. Uh, we're going through turbulent times. Uh, and what really would you like to say to the youth of this country? Uh, I would say that uh, uh, you need to keep working on your skills because uh, you never know when uh, something you do very well will uh, suddenly not work or, uh, or a machine will do it better than you. Uh, if you're constantly working with the machine and with, you know, modern, not only the machine, modern, modern methods, modern technologies, everything. Uh, so the method is as important as uh, the technology. The way you work, that is a very human skill that you can bring to the table. And if you do that, then um, uh, your life will be turbulent, will still be turbulent, but at least it won't be unpleasant. Uh, in the other end, if you don't incorporate that into your living, then it's going to be very tough because uh, jobs, I wouldn't say they're going to disappear, but they're going to, the job description is going to change so fast and every year that if you don't handle that, it's going to be rough. Absolutely. Great advice there coming from uh, the Grand Master himself. Thank you so much, Vishwanathan, for speaking with us today. Thank you.